actually, over the past couple of years. Yeah. You've gone to work with Steven Spielberg, and yeah. now you've gone to work with the Coens. Yeah. Uh, how did the project come to you, and um, when did you realize that you were going to be part of such a uh, sort of a song that would be so memorable for so many people in the, in the film? I didn't uh, realize it was going to be so memorable for so, uh, for so many. It just seemed like fun we were doing it. And, that, and then I always kind of forget that people actually watch it. You know, you kind of get <laughs> wrapped up in the world that you kind of the people you're working with and kind of forget that um, eventually like you know people will see it if you're if you know if you're lucky or whatever uh, but yeah my agent just called me and was like do you want to audition for uh, a Coen Brothers movie and it was a no-brainer because uh, I have really no foresight or plans as an actor I just kind of make decisions that are like obvious you know <laughs> <laughs> um, and so like I went and read for it and and played a song and that was that was it now are, are you a musician yourself beforehand like did you was that one of the reasons why they uh, you know, auditioned you is that they knew you could sing already, or was it like? I mean, I don't. Um, I, I mean, a musician that I have instruments at my house, <laughs> and I, I think that they they there was enough in the audition that they thought that this will this will work. I think, um, but not as much, um, like not not compared to everyone else who's in the mm. uh, movie. No, I, you know, I'm not a musician like they are. Have you seen it with an audience yet? Have you seen the reaction to like? No. Oh, what, no. will you will you go see it? Or do you are you one of those actors who won't go see your stuff then? I, yeah, yeah, I am. I, I did see this. I, I did see this actually. Uh, we, I guess with a small audience, but it was right. all very like invited, uh, like not with like you know just um, people, just like a big crowd of people. But it was very small. But I did see it with that because I wanted to hear the music. Uh, that was a mistake. <laughs> so, like all the things I wanted to change differently uh, about myself. But the music, the movie itself, you know, is you know obviously like so so good. And, so do you pay attention to like what the reaction is to when you're doing something like girls or something like this or something? I mean, do you do you pay attention to what the reaction is? Because it sounds like you don't necessarily watch yourself as much as possible. Does no, no, no. Yeah, I haven't seen girls. I've seen the I see the, I saw the pilot of girls and then with Lena and then I'm like oh, I can't do this. I can't watch the um, the show. You know, because um, you can't help but notice all the mistakes or things you wanted to change. Um, do you ever ask her like, "Hey, is it my not in this episode? Should I like watch this one?" Or no, they say that to me. They're they're like they're like you know why don't you watch that you're not even in it? And I'm like, nope, nope, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to see it. I don't want to wreck the illusion. In my mind, it's something that's like uh, it could probably completely different than what it, what it actually is. So when you finally saw the movie, uh, and and you're in a a really nice part and sort of yeah. in the middle, yeah. what what surprised you the most about it? And and as an actor, could you relate it all to sort of like what he's going through? You know, trying to sort of break through in the industry, in the music industry, for him. I, what surprised me the most is that I was in it. You know, there was like, <laughs> it, like in the thing where you know where the the Coen Brothers had uh, made. That was the biggest surprise. I think, yeah, his um, his role or journey in it, uh, however brief, you know, I think is really relatable. And that um, I think everyone can empathize with someone who you know is kind of like the beginning of their career or just kind of finding their footing with. What it is they're trying, they're interested, but they're not really sure what their voice is or their perspective. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of trying things out, and it's awkward. And he's kind of has that cockeyed optimism at the beginning of it that you think maybe, like, you know, if we catch up with this guy 10 years from now, maybe is it not going to be as optimistic? Maybe, you know, yeah. we'll be kind of worn down by it all. But at the moment, it's like, we, you know, it's like really fun and exciting time to be in New York, you know? Yeah. I just want one last quick question. Um, you know, there's been a lot of rumors that uh, you might be playing Nightwing in the new sort of oh, Man yeah. of Sequel. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I'm just curious, is there any truth to that? And then have you checked out, I mean, have your friend? I know you obviously don't want to see what reaction is to stuff, but your friends tell you, hey, they're talking about it on Twitter and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've heard that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, 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 it's not, uh, uh, the, I don't think there's any truth to it. No, no. Oh, not at all. It's not true at all. No, no, no. Not that, not that I know of, unless, unless uh, um, I'm, I'm totally missing something. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at HitPix on Twitter or visit HitPix.com.